Hey guys, welcome to another video. And in this video, I want to talk about Crowcoin and the crypto space because right now we're gearing up for a potential big move to the upside. And it's not just for Crowcoin, but also for the whole crypto space as well. And, you know, I've geared up. I've prepped for this throughout the bear market and also through this boring sideways action. And just think, what we had in March of early this year was just a little taster of what to come. Then we've got the boring sideways. And now, as we're starting to enter Q4, and obviously those elections are getting closer and closer, lots of things happening and a lot of potential upside to be taken. And this could be a time where we can make life-changing money. And that's why I'm in. I've not been scared out the market. I've not done anything. All I've done is just accumulate. So, before I start, give us a like and give us a thumbs up. It's always much appreciated. All your support is always much appreciated. If you don't like what I'm doing, give us a thumbs down. You know, at the end of the day, it'll all help out with the channel getting out there. And it's, yeah, I'm just geared up, ready for this. It's going to be, it's going to be absolutely massive. I really do think this. Don't get me wrong, we could get a Black Swan event or something like that at any point in time. But we can see here, right here, in this area here, look at that, CRO. 86% bullish and only 14% bearish. I don't know who those 40%, maybe they're just uh, crypto.com haters. I don't know. But overall, we're at 86% bullish. And now the volume after that spike we had, which was around about 20 something million dollars uh, in 24 hours, we've come back down to around about six and a half million dollars in 24 hour volume. Obviously, we had a little bit of a pullback. Bit of, sad, bit of boring yesterday, nothing really happened. But all in all, we're all up 330% in all, which is not bad. You know, this is not on the day. This is the entire crypto period. So bear that in mind. But yeah, CRO is looking pretty, pretty good. And I'm expecting some big moves to happen very shortly. You know, because at the end of the day, what I'm waiting for is... Are we going to do a BNB? That's what I'm waiting for. That's because everything that crypto.com is doing it seems to be looking towards what BNB did. Because don't forget with BNB, that started in 2020. That started right at the beginning of that bull market. And we can see here, Binance Smart Chain is launched. And that happened around about the September of 2020. September 20. Don't forget, we had that big crash that happened. And then September of 2020, we just went sideways. And look at that massive explosion to the upside. And look where we were here. We were around about $29 or $30. And then we spiked all the way up to about $600 and something. dollars, And then we came back down, spiked up again. And over this bull market, bear market, it's just been still up around about $200 to $300 in all. And then we spiked back up early this year back up to that $600 mark. So what can BNB do again? What can CRO do? If BNB did that, there's no doubt in my mind that CRO could easily get to that $1 mark. Uh, it just, just seems to be like a no-brainer to me. And uh, and that's why I've been DCAing in all through this bear market, all through this sideways action. Because if CRO could do the BNB, that's from now, that's like a 37 hex. Could we do that? Look, nothing's impossible. People will say, that's not going to happen. That's never going to happen. You know, and, the, and those people are the ones who will most of the time get proven wrong. That will take us up to about $3.25. Now, I've said that $1 to $2, but I saw Ada in the previous bull market go from $0.07 cents all the way up to $3. Could CRO do that? Hell yeah. Could it? Yes. Why? Because look at everything they're doing. Look at the Kronos ecosystem. It started right at the end of the bull market. And now we've got a fresh start in this bull market to make some big moves to the upside. So it's a young chain. And this is the time for CRO when the retail come back and people start plowing into it, which they will, I feel. That's when we could make those massive life-changing gains. And the same thing happened with BNB. We were all down here. BNB started, the chain started at the beginning of the bull cycle. Look at that sideways action and a big explosion to the upside. 
And look what happened here. We had this bull market. We came back to down to the downside and obviously came to the bull market. And we, that chain came right towards the end of the bull market. So we've got really early days in this bull market to really get that traction going and make a way up. Because like I said, I just zoom out and look what happened to BNB. And look at that, 37X. Could we do it from now where we are, which is around about, where are we now? We're at eight cents now. Don't forget, like I said, Ada was at what? Seven cents when I bought in Ada and then it blew up throughout the bear bull market. We went all the way up to over $3. That was crazy. And obviously Ada could do that again quite easy. And I'm expecting CRO a dollar to do $2. Could it do a $3? Of course it can. Nothing's impossible. Like I just said, it's nothing impossible in crypto. Anything could happen. And like we said, we saw what happened with BNB when it was just down here and exploded all the way up to 600 plus dollars. Like, you know, it really is. And when you look at what crypto.com are doing, don't forget in that bull market of 2020, we had 70 billion CRO burned this year. You know, and we can see here milestones from 2021, 10 million users plus look what we got now. We're over 100 million. So everything is just growing. And this is from 2021. And you can see what they've been doing ever since that. So all in all, I'm looking really bullish. But what I think is really going to carry CRO is not just the burn. It's the Kronos ecosystem. And people love meme coins. And I've said this in previous videos. I love meme coins. A lot of people can associate themselves to meme coins. The, the retail. You know, I, when you talk about like the, the all the uh, technology or the tech, te all that information regarding like with the Krona or regarding like near protocols or stuff like you start talking to my friends about near protocols or something like that, they're not interested. But when it comes to mean coins, they're interested. We've got association. It's fun. It's exciting. We can relate to meme coins, in my opinion. But look at like the, with the Kronos issue, I think when this really gets traction, all these mean coins get traction, this is when we're going to see CRO make some big moves. And that is when the retail starts coming in. But we can see Mary making moves now. Is it getting closer to Mary getting listed on crypto.com? Because we see the market uh, crypto uh, market cap of Mary is up at 1.2 million. We're up on 24 hours at 19.39% and 15% on the six hour. Not looking bad at all. I'm expecting to Roshi call to make some moves as well. And it will do at Crob. I really am waiting for that to make moves. There's lots of eco things building in the ecosystem in the Kronos. And that is why you should not write it off at all. Writing off is, I think, is personally is a big mistake. I really do. Young chain, lots of things being built on it. And when the retail come back, I'm expecting some big moves to the upside. And we can see here on the daily, look at the daily chart at the moment. We've got this massive call and a handoff being formation. We've broken that area of, of downtrend. We have got a bit of money outflow coming out. But obviously, yesterday was a bit of a boring day. This is a new day. So I'm expecting if Bitcoin makes some big moves today, which I think it will, because we've had those rate cuts, uh, you know, lots of things have been going on. But we've got that area support here, expecting Bitcoin to make some big moves. Once that big move starts to make, and then obviously the Bitcoin dominance starts to break down, that's when I am think CRO is going to make some big moves. And obviously, it's going to help with the merry listing if we get that, and also any kind of big burns come in. Let's have a check and see what's happening with Bitcoin at the moment. So looking at Bitcoin ETFs at the moment, we can see here we had a bit of an inflow coming in of around about 4.5 million, previous 92 million and 158 million prior to that. So obviously it's looking good. We're starting to get inflows. I really do think we're probably going to get, if the market opens up positive today in the United States, I think we're probably going to get some uh, positive inflows as well. So looking at that, but look at the rainbow chart at the moment, we're starting to get just about the accumulation area. We're starting to get above the accumulation, leaving the fire sale at the moment. And obviously, we can see Bitcoin making some boot moves to the upside as well. So we can see here, generally in the cryptocurrency market, we're still sitting at 2.23 trillion. Bitcoin now sitting at around about $63,658. So obviously, what I want to see is Bitcoin get above this area of resistance here, which is around about that $65,000. If we can get above that, create some support 
and make our way back up to the upside. That's what I want to see. I want us to see us break that, create some support, and then move to the upside. Because my price target for Bitcoin is around about that 100,000 to 150,000. I know that's a big gap because nobody knows for 100% sure where it's going to go. It might only get to $80,000. But everything which I see is being built. We've got institutions buying. We've got countries buying. Every, obviously, retail ourselves buying. A lot of people are buying, and people are starting to see what Bitcoin is. We're starting to even get that Kamala Harris. Do I trust her? Not getting into politics? Don't know. But she's even starting to talk about it now. And obviously, we've got Donald Trump, who's also supporting Bitcoin as well. So, you know, overall, it's looking major bullish. And we've got Michael Saylor buying more Bitcoin. You know, you do, I'm, I do what the whales are doing. I do what they do. I follow what the whales are doing. And that's how I've always played my game. Like, and, and that's what I'm doing now. And I'm doing that with CRO. I'm doing that with Bitcoin. I'm doing that with Pepe. Pepe, for me, is one of those mean coins, which isn't going to go. And it could well take shiv over. But I've been accumulating things like that as well. So, you know, overall, it's looking pretty bullish. Watch out what happens in the United States today when it opens. Because don't forget, China have also started potentially cut interest rates as well. And also putting liquidity into the securities market as well. So, and Hong Kong are also looking bullish as well. So, lots of things happening. Lots of liquidity starting to come into the market. And just watch that M2 for the United States when that money printer starts coming on because it will do at some point and that's going to be good for risk on assets like Bitcoin, like the crypto space. So lots of things going on. So like I said, give us a like and give us a subscribe. It's always much appreciated and I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care.